Hey guys, it's Angel and welcome back to Mickey Baby Taylor. Today I'm going to do the Keeping It Real tag, which was created by Ashley over at Twinsy Mom. I'm going to link her down in the description below so you can go and check her out. And myself and about 30 other moms are going to be doing this tag as part of a collaboration organized by V-Loves. So look down in the description below for a link to the playlist. So be sure to check that out after you watch this one so you can catch those other videos too. Also be sure to stay till the end so you don't miss out on my blooper reel because this is the keeping it real tag after all, is it not? Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Question one. Do you have a secret candy stash that you eat when the kids aren't around? Why well, yes. Yes I do. I have had a secret candy stash, secret sweets of all kinds stash ever since I was like a mom, basically. Question two, do you shave your legs in the winter? Well, now in my defense, I have a really good reason for this, and that is because I hate the feeling of wearing pants when I have freshly shaved legs. So always like the day that I shave my legs, and sometimes even up to two days after shaving my legs, I have to wear like shorts or skirts or dresses. Well, when it's the winter and it's cold and I need to wear pants, this is a problem. So... A, nobody sees it anyway, B, it's more comfortable for me, and C, I have a wonderful, loving husband who doesn't care, so what's the point? Question three, roughly how many times have your kids cried about something or thrown a fit today? Well, does this answer your question? Yeah, so I'm a Navy wife and my husband is currently underway right now, which means that I've been solo parenting all week and I will have to next week too. Although by the time you watch this video, he will most likely be home. And today I had to take the kids to the bank, the leasing office, Kohl's to make a return, and the commissary for groceries and I was reminded exactly why I usually leave the kids home with him while I run those kinds of errands. Let's just say it was a rough day. So yeah, there was a lot of crying today. It's been a long day. Question number four. Do you ever wish you could go back to your pre-mommy life? If even for only a day. Alright, so, <laughs> not gonna lie, I've definitely crossed my mind, especially because there was an article that's been kind of making the rounds around Facebook lately about moms talking about, you know, maybe I kind of miss you know, my life before kids. And uh, especially days like today, it's definitely something that you can sometimes find yourself thinking about. Now that said, I love my kids. I love being a mom. I couldn't imagine not being a mom. It's definitely something I've always wanted to be. Very extremely happy and grateful to be a mom and I just love it. They light up my life. I just love them so much. I just can't get enough of them when I'm hugging them. I just want to hug them and kiss them all the time. But, I am kind of a person that just by nature, I'm really nostalgic. I just get in these like moods where I just think back to memories and I just like want to like just climb into those times again and experience them all over again, which is a lot of why I love YouTubing and love vlogging. We've got our family vlog for a lot of that reason because I like being able to watch that footage back again and relive those memories. So sometimes, yeah, I feel like, oh, I miss my life before kids. Like I miss all the fun we had. I... But you know, a lot of that's also because it's tied to living in our hometown with our family because we moved like literally three weeks before we had our son. So my life before kids was also my life in San Diego in the city I love with the people I love surrounding me and doing fun, awesome things and going to Disneyland every single week. There's just so much more freedom. There's so much less planning. You have so much more free time. You have so much more spending money. Like, 
your life is definitely a lot simpler before you have kids but that said it is so worth it and I wouldn't trade it for anything but maybe if it could be just one day and I could go back I would probably take that up but I don't want to actually not have kids question number five when is the last time you mopped the floor well we just moved in and there's not a lot of floors that need mopped here most of it's carpet i've vacuumed a whole lot because i need to all the time because my kids are like messy and crumbs and things like yeah vacuum every other day on average sometimes every day it depends on if like a big mess happens or not but i didn't have to today it looks good it looks good all right but mopping um yeah the floors aren't really dirty or at least i don't know if if, if they are the linoleum hides it really well number six have you ever come home from grocery shopping and ordered takeout because you were too tired to cook again literally today Question seven, have you ever blamed certain smells on your kids when it was actually you? I don't know what you're talking about. Number eight, do you ever take the long way home just to get a little extra quiet time to yourself? Justin's not going to watch this, right? Well, why do you think I go shopping by myself? Number nine, how many times do you wear a pair of jeans before washing them? Well, I'm gonna level with you. Ever since I discovered LuLaRoe, I can count on one hand how many times I've worn jeans since July. <laughs> uh, rare, it's, it's a rare occurrence now that I have found the wonderful world of leggings, but before that, um, most of the time I wear them at least twice before washing them. I mean, like if they're not dirty and it spill anything or whatever you know if they're not getting too loose and stretched out because you know all my jeans have stretch in them because mom life so <laughs> if they're still looking good and they're not dirty and they don't smell bad for any reason um then yeah i'll just wear them again but yeah it's about two or three times on average usually after that they've either gotten dirty or they're getting way too like loose and stretched out and saggy in the butt and you never want the saggy butt and Last but not least, question 10, have you ever put the kids to bed early simply because you were tired and needed a break? Once again, literally today. All right, there you have it. That's the Keeping It Real tag created by Ashley with Twinsy Mom. Don't forget, it's part of a collab, so check out the description so you can get to the playlist and watch all the other videos from the other participants and stick around for those bloopers. Thanks for watching. Bye. the let and there was uh, ah okay so be sure to check that so uh, so be sure to check that out after you watch this so that you can <laughs> so be sure to go check those out after this so be sure what? How do I word this? Ah, la, la, la.